your beneficiaries might have to even sell their home to pay the executor's fee because there's not enough cash in your estate. Hi everyone, my name is AJ Wasserman and I am the founder of the FIO Group. I act as a business and wealth consultant for entrepreneurs and business owners to create long-term sustainable wealth. In this video, I would like to explain to you what a executor is. An executor is somebody that resolves your estate after you have passed away. An executor has also the right to charge a fee to resolve your estate. Now you can nominate anybody to be your executor. It can be a family member, it can be an attorney, it can be an accountant. It's normally somebody close to you or a financial or legal professional. The executor's fee is allowed in the tax act up to 3.5% of your estate value exclusive of VAT, meaning that it's normally 3.99% of your asset value will be charged as an executive fee to resolve your estate. When you nominate a family member as an executor, they normally don't know how to resolve your estate and they are in an emotional state because of your passing. That makes them go to a legal or financial professional to ask them to resolve the estate on their behalf. That legal or financial professional will again charge a 3.5% executor's fee. Meaning that if you have a 1 million rand estate, you can easily pay 40,000 rand in resolution fees just for the executor's fee to resolve the estate. That is not even taking into consideration property transfer fees, estate duty liabilities, or any other things that you might have to pay in the estate. So always make sure to understand the exact executor's fee that you contracted for the moment you sign your will. The lawyer or the financial institution that gives you your will can contract a fixed executor's fee with you before you sign the will. So make sure to contract the fixed executor's fee or to agree to the percentage that they are going to charge. Remember that the executor's fee can create a massive cash flow problem in your estate together with all of the other estate expenses, meaning that your beneficiaries might have to even sell their home to pay the executor's fee because there's not enough cash in your estate. Be aware of all of your estate expenses before something happens to you to make sure that you make enough provision for your family members to cover any financial risk they might have. I really hope that this information has helped you understand what the executor's fee is for. I release a lot of videos every week so please subscribe to my YouTube channel, click on the notification button and I'll see you in the next video.